Sometimes we see an exponential equation that is not written in base multiplier form, but we would like to write it in base multiplier form because we would like to interpret the multiplier in some way. How can we rewrite an exponential equation so that it's in precisely base multiplier form? Suppose we have this equation, and we would like to rewrite the equation in base multiplier form. In particular, since I doubt that it's going to work out too nicely, we'll round the multiplier to three decimal places. How could we do this? The 37 isn't really going to do anything in this process. We want to look at just the exponent part, and we want to write 2 to the x over 11.4 as something to just the x power. How could we do that? Well, 2 to the power x over 11.4 that's 2 to the power 1 over 11.4 times x. Right, that's what it means to have x over 11.4. And if I write the x over 1, that becomes more obvious. But now the power of a power rule says that we can, instead of multiplying the exponents, apply the first exponent, and then apply the second exponent. 2 to the 1 over 11.4, though, that's just a number. We can use our calculator to figure out what that is. We'll say 2 to the power 1 over 11.4. There we go. The instructions tell us to round that number to three decimal places. We'll have 1.063. Now, we want to be kind of careful using this in calculation. Check this out. I'm going to actually compare the original equation that we got to the rewritten equation which just uses the x power. So we started with 37 times 2 to the power x over 11.4. And we ended up with the equation 37 times 1.063 to the x. And we're going to look at the table. Now when x is real small, these are pretty much the same. But as x gets bigger, they start to get a little further apart. Right, what's happening? Well, remember this was rounded. When we're making this move, we will want to use the original equation for any calculations, but use the rewritten multiplier for comparisons or interpretations. For example, suppose we know the population of bacteria in one dish doubles every 2.2 hours, and in another dish the population triples every 3.3 hours. We wonder which population grows faster. Our variables are P, the population that's dependent, and T, the time that's independent. In the first dish, the population equals... It doesn't tell us what the starting population is. It's just something times 2 to the power. We multiply by 2 every time 2.2 .2 hours pass. In the second dish, our population is some starting value not necessarily the same, 
I'll call it B. But that population is going to be multiplied by 3. How many times? Once every time 3.3 .3 hours pass. In the first dish, well, our exponential part is 2 to the t over 2.2. That's 2 to the 1 over 2.2 to the t, which is about 1.37 to the t. In the second dish, our multiplier, we've got 3 to the t over 3.3. So that'll be 3 to the 1 over 3.3 .3 to the t, which is about 3 to the 1 over 3.3. .3. That's about 1.40 to the t. Which one grows faster? Well, this is the bigger multiplier. So the population of the second dish grows faster.